Hi, welcome to Wikit again, Kashan Product. This is Venkit here. Today I'm going to talk about the Cyber Security Series Part 6. So in Cyber Security Part 6, we are going to talk about the Certified Ethical Hacking Professional. So I want to become an Ethical Hacking Professional. Sir, what is a roadmap? So here is a roadmap of Ethical Hacking Professional. So these are the things we are going to discuss under. Here is the part one of the Certified Ethical Hacking Professional, like a professional to become a, like a professional. Okay, so let's move on to the session. So before that, I want to share you like the parts which we are going to discuss. So here is a part one where I'm going to talk about about the information security standard okay and from that we are moving to the next level of uh, the basics to advance of ethical hacking are you ready so here is the one so our part six contains the information security and ethical hacking and part seven will contain the footprinting and reconnaissance okay, this is the one we are going to discuss on part seven part eight we are going to discuss on system and network hacking and part nine, we are going to discuss on the advanced hacking technologies like hacking the databases, hacking the websites, and also hacking the devices. And from there, we'll move on to the technology. The hottest technology in the current trend is IoT and the, it, the cloud computing. So we are going to talk about on the basic ones of IoT and cloud computing and the hacking parts. And part 11, we are ending the ethical hacking videos with cyber security interview questions. So are you ready? So let's move on to part six of the video, like the information security and ethical hacking. Before that, let's see the current openings of this week. So they are many companies, they are looking for students from Kashiv in Kotak. So and congrats to all the winners, like all the people who got the job in the last month, okay? Anyway, congrats to you people. And if this video, like if any of the recruiters are looking into this video, I request your people to send your job description to us. We are ready to refer the best trained candidates from Kashiv in Photo Company. And here is the mails to send you the like a job description, everything. And to my students, sorry. Yeah, to my students. So if any of my students look into this particular video, please. So like if you are a Kashiv Infotech trained course student, please contact us. We are ready to refer you for the opportunity. Send the like a resume to this particular email. Okay, and here is one opportunity. It came before 15 hours. That's really awesome. So on .NET, so they're looking for some five, uh, like five candidates. And over here, like we got a big off campus uh, for uh, like a lot of technologies. For PHP, we, we are looking for people to like the companies are looking for people from our company, Kashi Infotech. And you are able to see they, they are looking for Java and .NET. Okay, Java and .NET. So these are some of the openings in our company. Okay, so yes, let's move on to the session. So Kashu Certified Ethical Hacking Professional Part 1. So what we are going to discuss today, man? Let's see. Ah, Part 6, the information security and ethical hacking. We are going to see on three important concepts. How your hacker works. So how your hacker is attacking. That is the first one that is called a cyber kill chain concept. And the second one is like information security control. How we are going to control the hacking parts, sir. And what are the standards and laws available to do some auditing. So these are the three areas we are going to see in this video. Let's move on. Okay, so what is the one we are going to see, man? Okay, so the first one is, as I told you, like a cyber kill chain concept. We talk about cyber chain kill concept. These are the steps a hacker will try to do it to kill the, at the victim. So what are the steps, sir? The first step is called a reconnaissance. So the second one is weaponization. Third one is delivery, exploitation, installation, command and control, actions on objective, target achieved, and cyber kill chain. So I found the targets. I found the targets and I'm using a weapon. So I'm going to deliver the weapon and I'm going to use the exploitation, the weakness of the system to enter and install, control it and attain your objective. The target is reached. So we reach the, we reach the target and obviously you got succeeded. So these are the steps available. Let's see in detail. The first step is called reconnaissance. What is reconnaissance? Reconnaissance in the sense, identifying the target, do some research, so see the weakness, see his strength, how we can attack everything. So we have to fix the target. That is your identifying the weakness of the target and fix it. Yes, we can go it. Yes, that is your reconnaissance. The second is weaponization. Now I'm going to attack it. How are you going to attack it, man? So I can create a virus, send through an email. So I can create a Word document, that is a virus. 
I created a PDF that's a virus. So what kind of viruses or what kind of attack you are going to do it. So you're going to have that is a weapon on the opponent. So that is called weaponization. And the third option is a delivery. Once the virus is ready, I decided like that is a target and I'm going to attack like this. Now we are have to deliver it. Okay, so targets. This is a weapon delivered to the targets to attack them. So transmission of weapon to the target is the one that is called as delivery. So delivery is done. Now exploitation. Exploitation is a sense that the, the weapon is placed. The virus is placed on the computer. It should get triggered. How are you going to trigger it to get activated? So the, the bomb. I got the bomb, it is placed in the place and you should get activated. I need a remote or something like that. A similar kind of activation you need to do is for that is called as exploitation. Once exploited, once the virus is activated, it get installed or do some process so that it will be involved with the computer, with the target itself. That is how your installation works. So installation is done. And the next one is like command and control. So I enter into it, I like I've executed it and it is ready to go now it is going to control the computers okay control the victim so command and control the victim so that is the next step and finally we achieve the targets whether you want to delete the data copy the data whatever things you want that's it you have done it man so you are yeah you have done the real hacking methodology so these are the steps followed by a hacker and it is called a cyber kill concept okay cyber kill concepts okay anyway like before going further on the the next level of second part here is my insta account kashiv underscore infotech okay click that follow button and you can contact me at any time treat me as a brother you can contact me anytime for any kind of guidance i'm ready to help you okay i'm looking for a message from you people okay and my name is Venkat. let's move on and here's my contact numbers security controls so the hacking is done sir so obviously we need to secure it sir how are we going to secure it so security is the next part we are going to see it. How we are going to control the hacking. So that is your security controls. The security controls in the sense, like here is the one. So we got the fifth one, compliance, technical, procedural, access control, and physical control. These are the five different types of controls we can do it. The first one is physically controlling it. Hey, this is my room, you should not enter. This is my computers, you should not enter. My web server or website, you should not enter. Physically, we are going to control it. That is a physical control. And the second option is like uh, the access control. Once the person is entered, I gave an access to enter, but you should not do some mischievous activities, people. So I need to restrict them. Okay, so I am I need to restrict it via the access controls. So he is a normal user, he is an admin user. So I I can provide a specific access what that guy can do it that is his access control the third one is procedural control if you want to enter into my room ask my security if you want to enter into my like office ask my security something like that i got a procedure to be followed so once the procedure is there you are able to restrict this kind of hacking methodologies on your computers okay procedural control and the technical control where we can design our system technically creating encrypted passwords and everything, avoiding the people to enter into the system. If they entered automatic SMS, two-factor two recognition, two-factor authentications, something like that, you can have some technical options to restrict the hacking methodologies. And the final one is compliance control, the process. Every company should create a process to be followed. Once if you got a clear process, you are able to control any kind of hacking. So that is called as compliance control. You should have this compliance control. These are the five security controls we need to manage to secure your system. And here is the eight essential security controls we are able to check it out. You are able to see it here. So the first one is a preventing the attacks. The attack should not come, man. So you can you can do some application whitelisting. Application whitelisting in the sense of who can enter, who should not enter. I can have it. Patch applications, whatever like bugs are there, whatever defects are there, everything can be patched. Configuring the products, some macros and other things. Use inbuilt macros or something like that. Use inbuilt functionality. Don't try to download some other external software which may create some problem. So authenticated software to be installed. User application hardening. So creating in the application with a hardened system, high encryption system, no one can enter, something like that. We can have some hardening system. 
this is how you are able to prevent the attack and limit the extent of attack sir once attack is happening sir but still i'm trying to like limit it sir at least at this 100% no at this 5% i can reduce the impact sir so in that case giving the restricting the admin privileges restricting the admin privileges patching the operating system so you can patch the operating system so latest antivirus everything will be there latest windows update is good for the operating system for the applications and everything multi factor authentication so once log in with the password otp uh, email or sms or whatsapp send an otp or something like that so this is how you are able to limit the extent of the attack and finally so once the attack is done i need to recover sir you can have some backups of the data so daily taking the backup of data okay that is how you are able to secure your system and this is according to concept of security controls okay these are the eight essential security controls available okay now let's talk about the final area that is called a cyber audits what is cyber audit sir every month that is an auditing whether the process is correct whether the computers are correct whether any unwanted software on the computers everything is audited by the cyber audit methodologies okay cyber audit in the sense as i told you auditing the system whether everything is good or not if there is any problem let's fix it so establishing the security standards enforce the regulations and best practices and determining the security postures these are the three things we are able to achieve with the cyber audit and for that we need some standard right so there are some standards we must and we need to follow and there are some security auditing standards the people are proposing and i'm going to list down some of the security standards here okay so for auditing ifiar the international forum of independent audit regulators they will define how an independent auditing can be done in a company fasb financial accounting and standards board they will specify how the accounting and financial data and all the data can be audited in a public portion that means private companies this is public companies pcaob public company auditing oversight board so how you can define a team to do this kind of auditing okay so they are defining one head should be there there should be some two sub heads will be there there should be an account guy will be there so what kind of team you are able to build it to create an auditing team and the final one is gaas generally accepted auditing standard so these people created a standard of auditing so auditing needs a person will come he will enquire all the things and he will note down everything what are the mistakes fix it how much time it will you are giving for them to fix that kind of mistakes everything is defined so this is how your auditing standards will be there and this is implemented in cyber audits so hope you got an idea like how the information like your says information security is important and how we are going to emphasize the security sir i want to build my profile sir i want to learn like a like a ethical hacking and cyber security in that case like a, you can learn cyber security and ethical hacking in turn you can you can learn it as a package so here is the option i'm trying to give it to you if you want to learn ethical hacking so start learning web designing so because website is the one where we are going to work out on ethical hacking okay see we need to secure it as a most and learn cyber security from there learn penetration testing and learn blockchain okay advance 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 this is how you have to build your profile so and the opportunities is really awesome people so start building a profile there is no one in the market the job is yours okay so you may ask me a question which department i can study any department any degree people can join and learn it okay that's the beauty of ethical hacking and over here the salary is real awesome and if you want to build build your profile long term learn cyber security tools as much as you can so hope you enjoyed my video like uh, and uh, here is the like uh, topics you need to learn to become a cyber security specialist go to this link i'll put it put this link in the description kashivinfo.com cyber security training in chennai okay just have to scroll down just just scroll down you are able to see lots and lots of topics there people lots and lots of topics here start learning everything and build your profile okay anyway like it's time for me to say goodbye to you our company cash in for we are providing online internships and direct internship at my chennai office and uh, apart from that like uh, 
yeah like i request you people to share this particular video to your friends and everyone share good things to everyone hope you enjoy my video and uh, waiting with care you will be getting the next video in couple of days and this is venkat sangar for wiki techie and kashan for jaye thank you